Hi friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Let me fix the camera a little bit so you can see me. So I don't know if you can tell, I, <clears throat> I don't feel that well. I haven't felt well since Friday and today is Monday morning. But by the time you are seeing this, it will be Tuesday. And the day you're seeing this Tuesday, the 26th of March is actually my six month anniversary on YouTube. I posted my very first YouTube video on September 26th of last year. So I did want to just make note of that because that's a big milestone and I feel like especially because I've been so consistent on YouTube it's a really big deal and not only is it my six month anniversary, 2,000 plus people are subscribed to my channel. Like, I know in the scheme of YouTube, maybe 2,000 people isn't a lot, but if 2,000 people were standing in this room with me, we would really see how many people that is. And for that many people to have clicked subscribe because they liked the content I was putting out is like wild to me. So I wanted to say thank you to each and every one of my subscribers. I am so, so beyond grateful that you guys are here and I hope you choose to stick around and continue on this journey with me. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect I don't really know what I expected from YouTube, to be honest with you. I just always knew that it was something that I was interested in doing. I was just scared. I was nervous. I was worried that no one would, would watch my content or people would be mean or, you know, I was scared to put myself out there, um, really. And really just the warm welcome I received has just blown me away and I wish I had started this journey years ago. I'm so glad I'm here there, here now though. What else? Sorry, my brain's like not working because I don't feel good. Like it's just um, all over the place a little bit. But I did, like I said, I did really want to make mention um, of this milestone. Something else that I didn't expect to happen on YouTube so quickly um, was to be monetized and that is thanks to you guys anyone who's ever watched any of my content any liked any of my videos shared any of my videos clicked subscribe and done anything to share my content in any way that all has helped me to be able to be monetized and like I said that's not something I thought was going to happen for a quite some time I had no expectations of when that was going to happen but for it to have happened so quickly for me um, just kind of blows me out of the water a little bit. So again, thank you for supporting my little corner of YouTube. I am so glad each and every one of you are here. And now we are going to get into this haul video. I have all kinds of stuff for you guys. That whole rolling rack there is what we're going to get into. Oh what we're going to get into here in a second. But I did really just want to, like I said, make mention of this milestone and again say thank you to all of you guys. Without your support, uh, I, my channel wouldn't be where it is today. Initially, I had planned on doing a whole video about my six month journey on YouTube, but like I said, my I do not feel well. and my six month is quickly approaching that being tomorrow so i just wanted to post something you know a little marker a little reminder at least about it to you know track my journey here on youtube and i know i've said it a thousand times but again thank you thank you thank you guys i i so appreciate each and every single one of you so now without further ado let's get into this giant thrift haul okay so first item for the haul is going to be my shirt that i'm wearing actually this is a florite by anthropology shirt and look at the back how cute are these little tassels i got that at the bins i also got these levi's these are the what are they the 
505 fit. They're a vintage-ish. I think they're like early 2000s, late 90s style. Cute. I got both of those for myself. Obviously, I'm going to keep them at least for now. I love, 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 love that little tassel detail right there. And I'm sorry in advance if I sound crazy in this video. I feel like I sound crazy, but also maybe I just sound like that, like, you know, to my own ears because I'm, I don't know. I just hope I don't sound like too terrible because we have a full rack to go through and I mean, it is jam packed full. Every manager I ever had in retail would be absolutely appalled because none of these are two fingers spaced apart. They are stacked on this rack. I also have several things here on the bottom of the rolling rack, which actually maybe we'll do those first so I don't forget them. Uh, yeah, we'll do those first. So let me show you. I'll only have these not hanging because I didn't have enough baby hangers. Let me put these on these stool so I can just grab them. First, are we kidding? This is the most adorable thing. I have no idea what size this is, but it does have a brand. This is Nanette. So, so cute. I absolutely love this little collar and look at the little lace. Oh my gosh. Olivia, if you like this, if you are watching and you like this, Please let mommy know and I will send this. Look how cute. I just, oh my goodness, couldn't leave this. And I think I said in my last video something about how much I spend on baby clothes at the bins. It was a Janie and Jack piece. And I think I said the retail tag had said $1.99 and I wouldn't pay that at the retail store. However, I paid maybe 30 cents for it. I did. I paid 30 cents. So roughly baby clothes roughly are like three-ish, four ounces. And that works out to be about 30 cents with the price that my bins charges. So baby clothes are approximately 30 cents a piece for me at the bin. So that's basically what I pay for this. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not afraid to buy baby clothes. I know they don't like fly out of my store. They don't cost a lot and they don't take up a lot of space. And then when the right <clears throat> and then when the right buyer comes along, they usually buy it for, you know, 25 plus dollars. So you're making a lot on your very small investment. That's how I look at it anyways. And I have a lot of luck with baby clothes on eBay. This is another really adorable vintage baby piece. This is a six month. The brand is Health Text. Health Text and it was made USA. There's the tag. And this is like a little micro daisy print. It has like this little ruffle sleeve. And sorry if you could just hear Audrey drinking in the background. I just realized I was talking during that whole time. So enjoy Audrey drinking, I guess. Um, the back, really cute. And this is like a little shorts onesie. Again, can't say onesie because this is not Gerber, but really, really cute. And I apologize in advance if I seem all over the place in this video. Like I said, my brain is just everywhere, but we are doing the best we can. This is another absolutely adorable little girl, little baby dress. This is a Edge Hill collection, which upon my Googling it when I got home, because I bought it just based on style, uh, is an expensive brand. This is three months. It's this little smocked top with this little rough, I mean, little ruffle sleeve. And then the pattern, this is kind of giving like Liberty of London to me a little bit. That's why I was like, oh yeah, super cute. I mean, just, it's so, so cute. Oh, here's the tag in case I forgot to show you. Hopefully I remember to do that. So, so, so cute. And then one more little vintage baby thing. And now... I bought this knowing that it has a st pretty substantial stains on the front, but just everything about it was like, this is substantial. This is a substantial little baby piece and it's old. Uh, so first of all, here's the tag. I Googled it and I could not find anything about this brand, but 
Um, it's made in Paris, apparently. It is a size 54 or 45. Geez, dyslexia on full display today. 45, because my brain knows it says 45. I already typed it into my inventory and everything, but still 54 comes out. Um, and it's got this tiny, tiny little metal zipper. And it's so, so cute. It's got like this little, like, what is this, crinoline? Is that what you call this? I don't know. Little underskirt. But the front has some like stains. I have not stain treated this yet because I wanted to like show you guys first. I am going to try and get all those stains out, you know, just like pre-treat it with my, um, probably my bunch of farmer stick unless somebody else has a better idea hopefully it's just never been washed and they just come right out but that doesn't look like it's gonna be the case but look at it it's so so cute and I feel like if I can get those stains out this is like a 30 or 40 dollar little girl's dress maybe even more because like I said it's it's pretty old I have to I'll have to google the brand of this zipper this is a eclair zipper I don't know if that's gonna show let me show up at all there we go it's a tiny little metal zipper so that will help to date it a little bit but other than that I don't know much about this dress but again I was willing to risk the 30 cents on it so before we start getting into all this stuff there is three days worth of thrifting on this rack and there are one bins trip, something Jack bought, myself going to a regular thrift store, and then another bins day. So that's how the rack is. Oh, wait. Like I said, my brain's not working. Anyways, that's how the rack is, but we're not done with this stuff on the bottom of the rack yet. So let me get back to that. I got these. I got these for myself. I got these at a regular thrift store. They are some really cool Converse. They are Gore-Tex Converse. Um, the outside is like a leather. I don't know if it is leather or if it's like Gore-Tex treated material or if the inside is what's Gore-Tex, but they are really nice platform. I love like that the speed hooks are pink and that the interior, oh geez, they're stuck. The interior logos. <coughs> And the logos on the inside, I love that they're like a mustard color. The liner also matches that. These will keep my feet semi-ish warm during the winter because they're Gore-Tex. Super cute. I like the lug soles of these too. Oh, and I paid, what did I pay, $11? Yeah. $11.99 for these at the regular store. But like I said, these are for myself. Next thing is a retro towel. And I initially was drawn to it because of the pattern and the colors. And I was like, this is a towel, though. I don't need to get a towel. And when I threw it in the bin, I noticed it had a brand tag. So I was like, okay, we'll at least look it up. So I grabbed it. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Okay. So I grabbed it, put it in my cart, and then just decided, okay, it's so light. I'll just buy it because they moved linens from $1.69, which is what clothing is at my bins to 49 cents that's what it was for the longest time and then they jacked it up to a dollar 69 just like clothes and then everybody stopped buying linens i guess so they just recently moved it back down so i was like fine i'll pay you know linen cost for this that's fine this is the brand saint mary's this is a really cool retro bath towel it, the, the edges are probably fraying a little bit more than when it was purchased, but other than that, it's an excellent shape. I cannot find one online that is this colorway, so hopefully that will help sell it. I think it's really cool, and I think somebody with like a retro house, retro vibe, you know, aesthetic in their house, interior design, will love this, even if it's just like a decorative, like, you know, towel that's gonna hang on the towel rack or something. I think it's really cool. And then one of these, I'm sure, will be the thumbnail. So I'm sure you've already seen at least one of these. But I got two quilt toppers. And someone actually stopped me in the bins because they were on top of my Hulkin bag when I was going back to my cart. And 
uh, a woman stopped me and she goes, oh, did you get those quilts? And I said, they're, she said, are they just the tops? I said, yeah, they are just the tops, but they're really nice. And she said, oh, I always look for quilts in here. And one of my Ben's regulars friends, of course, got two really awesome quilts this day, but that's okay. I got, I got <laughs> mine. That's fine. Um, this is a really awesome, I'll try to, I'm trying to like show you the whole thing, but it's not really worth Skiing, so maybe I will put in a clip of the whole thing, but this is a really nice, like, I don't know what you call this, um, postage stamp. I don't know. I don't know what you call this one. I haven't looked this up, but all these diamonds make a giant square and they all like get smaller and smaller and smaller. And if you look closely at them, some of them, like, you can definitely tell they were like somebody's dress shirt or like... Like, like this. This was definitely a dress shirt. Um, maybe this one was a dress shirt. There's another one on here, a striped one. Where is it? This one. That's giving dress shirt for sure. Like, so cool. It's just the top. But for this, the towel and the other quilt topper, I only paid $1.49 for all three of them. So... I will take that any day of the week. This is the other one. And these two are in the same bin. So that's always awesome when it's easy to find. I like that these look like H's. Oh, maybe it's not that they look like H's. Maybe they are H's. Maybe, maybe that's not like a coinky dink. <laughs> wow. I never really like saw the pattern until I'm looking at it now on camera. So that's cool. Too bad they're not J's or M's. We'd be keeping this one. <laughs> Super cool. Okay. So this one has some damage, like some holes and stuff, but I feel like that's easily fixable. Really cool. Quilt topper. Holy guacamole, this video is already 14 minutes long and we haven't even started on the rolling rack. Okay, so first I got this Akavu bag. This is a little crossbody bag. It's actually not little, it's a good size crossbody bag. It's like one of the Amiri healthy packs or whatever. You wear it like that and it's got like this interesting, what is this? Um not rip cord, I don't know, corded strap, really cool, these sell pretty well, they don't sell for that much money, because they don't really cost too terribly much retail, but they have a good following, and they usually sell pretty quickly, this stuff is all Vin's items, and I will tell you when we transition into things that were purchased at the regular store, etc., etc. First, this is a cashmere sweater. The body of it feels like it may be shrunk a little bit, and by flipping it around, maybe some of you might know the brand because of this motif on the back. Now, when I found it, I was praying to the powers that be that this was a McQueen sweater. It is not, unfortunately. However, it is a Zadig and Voltaire sweater. I don't know if that's going to come up on camera. But these have a pretty high retail cost. I think it's good that, the has, that it has the skull on the back. And I think even though it is possibly slightly shrunken through the body it still will sell for a little bit you know nothing crazy but I was not gonna leave these at the bins next I got this this was a style pickup let me fix the collar so I can get the whole vibe leather body ribbed sleeves ribbed back ribbed collar really cool little like 90s sweater and here's the brand. I have not looked this brand up. Focus. There we go. So this was a style pickup. Maurice Sasson. Yeah, we'll have to look that up. But size medium. Really cool. Full zip. You could wear it, you know, as a shirt or you could wear it as a jacket. 
So I have these jeans, and they are work men's jeans. So they have all these nice holes in it that somebody repaired. So they're nice and thrashed and lived in, all the good keywords. And they are Carhartt jeans. So that's awesome. Uh, usually Carhartt is hard to come by at my bins. These are a size 32, 32, and they are the relaxed fit. And I really like all of these little holes that have been like patched underneath. I think these will do well. I got this. This is a very 90s, very like, I don't know why it's giving me like smash mouth vibes. I have no idea why that's like the vibes I get for some reason. Um, Hawaiian shirt. The brand is Pacific Scene and it is a size extra large. I just thought this was a really, like I said, good 90s piece and it weighs next to nothing and it's perfect for summertime. Next, these were somebody's go backs. You know, like when you're in the bins and you can tell that somebody has put back, you know, items not in a bin that they initially came in. Like these were in the hard goods, so that's how I knew they weren't there initially. Somebody had looked at them and then thrown them back. These are fake leather, like snake print, I guess, or crocodile. I don't know what you're maybe crocodile. Yeah. Leggings, they are like a really pretty brown and they like have like different shades of brown they're not like one shade of brown these leggings are by seven for all mankind i was like what who threw these back i didn't look up the retail on them but i know they can't be cheap they're a size small there's the brand better they were 5.99 at the regular store which isn't terrible but i'll take them at the bins all day next i got this this is just a really nice little cream vintage nightgown i just recently sold a bundle of nightgowns that were similar to this and i'm going to keep picking these up all day every day these also don't weigh anything and when the right buyer comes along they like them they buy them you know so i'm not afraid to hold on to this for a little while if i have to hopefully i don't have to but this is the brand me by missy lane missy lane is a brand that i'm very familiar with with vintage lingerie and I really liked the little bow detail right here too. Next, this is a dress I have not looked up and let me actually button it up before I show you because you then need to get the full effect. So hold on. Okay, so this is a really cute little seersucker, I guess. Or is that just a stripe? I don't know. Um, little stripe, micro stripe dress. And this is, like I said, linen, if I didn't say that already. I did not look up this brand, but this is a really cute halter style open back. Here is the brand. Yeah, size large. Really cute. It's got pockets in the front. It's got pockets at the breast. And then it's got, you know, also pockets down here. You can actually put stuff in. So I got this based on style. Hopefully this is a good brand. We will find out together. <laughs> Next, I got these and I wish I found these earlier or I wish I had posted these earlier because these are absolutely perfect for Easter. Are you kidding me? These are like a high-waisted, super wide leg floral print pant and this is the brand and if I'm not mistaken this brand is on Revolve I could be you know absolutely losing my mind and don't know what I'm talking about if I'm wrong I'll put it on the screen but they are size so small and they are really cute next I got this really cute little Miss Me hoodie it has this really fun butterfly applique like embroidery on there and then another embroidery on the back and down each of the sleeves oh no just down one sleeve really cute what size is this say small here's the tag really cute then i got these these are some really cute little basic everlane shorts a little pocket little pocket in the back they're just a little pull on short there's the tag and they are a size four i got these these are a pair of simply 
And this is like a travel wear brand. Like this brand makes clothing that doesn't wrinkle easily. I believe, I believe that's their thing. Um, they are size eight and they are just this pair of like really soft pants and then they, not pants, leggings. And then they have this little lattice detail at the ankle, no pockets, really cute, extra soft. Next, I got this. This is a fun little Y2K moment, uh, Victoria's Secret. It is, I, well, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but from like here to here, it's got like laser cutouts, and then it has little lace trim on the, what is this, a off the shoulder, and then on the bottom as well. Oh, there you go. You can see much better there. All of that is like there you go. Small little holes. So it's like kind of sheer through the body. It's got ruching at the bust. Like I said, it's off the shoulder. The back is the same. And this is a Soyuz medium. Oh, and here's a Victoria's Secret tag. So it's not like super old, but it's not new either. I thought that was cute. Next, this is a Bolo brand. If you've never heard of it before, this is a bra by Cup. Here is the brand right there. Try to focus. And I knew immediately when I saw it in the bin that this was that brand because they are known, I believe, for this mesh bra. They are pretty expensive. And the only other time I've ever found this bra, this brand of bra, it sold really fast. <clears throat> Maybe I'll put on the screen how much it sold for. Here is the like interior tag, size tag. 36B is the size. And I really love this color. Here's the other. Here's another like logo. It will focus. Here we go. Cup. Really pretty like cinnamon spice color. Next, I got this. This is a really fun little vintage lingerie dress, but I feel like you could wear this however you wanted to you know you could belt it and you know wear it as a little mini dress whatever suits suits your mood this is the brand i've never found this brand before and the size is small like i said it's a sheer little let's see where it hits me oh right at the knee yeah it's a knee length little sheer dress cute. Next, I got some, what are these, Airy? Yeah, Airy by Offline Leggings, but they are the little crisscross applesauce front waist detail. They are like a really pretty moss green. I think they're a crop length. Unfortunately, yes, they are, which doesn't do as well as full length, but that's okay. They are a size extra large. They're extra soft. There's the tag. I think these will do pretty well, so I'm not giving these to Play-Dohs. Then I got this. This is a Nebraska hoodie, and it is, like, substantial. It has all kinds of embellishments on it. It's got this. It's got this. It's got Huskers on this sleeve, and then on here, it's got Nebraska. This is by Pro Standard, and it is a size 3XL. I wouldn't call this a 3XL, but we will put measurements Really nice hoodie. Next, another absolutely adorable little baby dress. This one I think is by Mini World, which is very desirable. Yes, Mini World. Mini World dresses go fast and for a pretty penny. There is the tag, if you can see it. <laughs> this is a 2T, and I think this is going to do phenomenally especially on ebay so stinking cute i love the little like what is that swiss dots maybe little lace collar to the <coughs> little lace trim to the collar so so cute i don't know adorable almost done with this bench truck not quite though this is a wooden ships cardigan like an open wear hoodie it's cream and it's got this nice contrasting gray stripe at the bottom. Here's the tag. And it is a size medium large. This is a acrylic mohair and wool blend. And Anthropology often sells wooden chips, I believe. 
this this is a Lulamon hoodie not hoodie crew neck but it's got like this what is this see okay the newer Lulu Lululemon you know right down there at the bottom but then what is this be all in and then member this is member and be all in and then it's got this like design so I have no idea if this is like some fancy hoodie or if this is like you know just a Lululemon like employee hoodie hoodie I keep calling it a hoodie crew neck crew neck crew neck crew neck crew neck Lululemon nice I got this. This is a Sims button up. This is like a substantial weight too. It's got like a built in like Henley layer to it. So I thought that was nice. Um, it is a nice plaid. It's got the logo right there. And then here's the tag. It is a size medium. Here's the back. Sometimes Sims things can be expensive. Sometimes they're not. Like if you find their technical stuff, you have hit a gold mine. I got these. I was hoping these were going to fit me too. Like I found these and these in the same bin, but these are a little bit too big. These are some silver tab, vintage silver tab Levi's. They are a size 36, 30. They're the low and loose silver tab. Here is the little silver tab logo and then silver tab here too. If you can see that. And here is the interior tag. These are probably the same era of the jeans that I'm wearing. Uh, maybe 90s, early 2000s. Really great shape. Can't believe nobody else picked these up, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, and then one more thing from this bin strip. This is so fun. First of all, it's a romper, number one. Play suit, jumper, whatever you want to call it. It's that long <clears throat> long legs too on this one so someone who has long legs could purchase this and not have it look strange on them it is a cross front let me see if I can like show you so it's got like a stretchy waist okay and then it's got pockets and then it crosses in the front with this little frilly detail here. I feel like this is going to do so well. I've never seen anything like this. That was adult size, like that wasn't meant for a kid. Here's the brand, Double focus, there we go. It is a size seven, so that's like a junior sizing, but I will just measure it. So I guess it is technically made for a kid, but a, a woman could easily wear this, and I think this is gonna do really well. I'm really excited about that one. So, Jack went to a regular thrift store yesterday, <laughs> and he found these. These are some, what are they, Held brand motorcycle leather pants, but they look like your typical, like, regular leather pant. They don't, like, scream motorcycle or biker wear or anything like that. They have a really nice, like, logo plaque here on the back. That's the brand right there, Held. He tried these on and he said they're the most comfortable pants he's ever put on. So I think these are gonna do so well. They are so buttery soft and I am amazed that Goodwill only wanted $12.99 for them. Like that's like wild. I think these are gonna do so well. The same thrift store that Jack got these pants at but earlier in the week. And I found a few things, this being one of them. So you may might recognize this weird jacket because a famous person wore it. Uh, Mr. Kurt Cobain, I'll put a picture in, uh, wore this jacket on stage. This is a vintage Where in the World by Tyvek 80s map jacket. I have sold one of these similar before but it wasn't the world it was like all over rock and roll print so that was cool this literally feels so weird it feels like those mailers from the post office like those big envelopes the tie back envelopes it's the same material but it's the map of the world uh this was 
$7.99 at the regular store and I pay full price for it because these are so cool and just the fact that Kirk Bay wore this I feel like will help sell it. They aren't like too terribly much but you should get like close to $100 for this. Next I found this. This was at that same Goodwill. This is a Vince cardigan. This is a I think alpaca cashmere and wool blend and there is nothing wrong with it. No holes, no nothing. So even though we are going into summer, I still picked it up for how much? $5.99. Oh, $5.99. So that's not terrible. It is a size extra small. Really good shape. And I was debating with myself the whole time if I should get them or not. First of all, they have this really cool, like, I don't know what you call that. Not tie dye, not maybe bleach stained gray um, denim jean by Good American, which if you don't know is Chloe, Chloe Kardashian's brand. The reasons I was hesitant: number one, they are the smallest size they make, a double zero, and number two, they were ten ninety nine. Number three. Good American is all over the place. This brand just doesn't do well like it used to, so I was a little hesitant, but when I noticed that all the other jeans they had at this store were priced at $8.99 regardless of what they were, and they only wanted one more dollar for this brand new pair of Good American jeans, I was like, okay, we'll take a chance. So hopefully these do well. They have a really cool little, let me show you, split hem at the bottom. And if they were my size, I would totally wear this style. They're a really nice color. They're not like in your face gray, but they have like hints of black. They have like, I don't know, they're just interesting. So hopefully this pair does well. <laughs> then I got this and this is so fun. This is a vintage Hawaiian dress, Hawaiian brand dress. And I've never found one of these that wasn't like super bright colors like the ma the majority of this dress is black so i feel like that makes this dress very interesting here's the brand it's a size 10 and i paid 6.99 for it at the regular store i think this is going to do really well because it's black and it's really pretty i got these at the regular store as well something just said you know these this is like a pattern that I feel like I could find these pants right now in like Urban Outfitters for like $70. And these are a vintage pair of like pull-on pants. They are plaid. They are really soft. They're unlined. And I just think they're going to do well. I think they're very like 70s, very mod, very academia, very... You could wear these to Easter if I had posted them earlier. <laughs> Uh, I paid $3.99 for these. Next is a brand I've sold before. These are some linen pants. Oh, and they have a cute little button detail at the hem. I didn't notice that before. These are a really nice striped gray pant by Goddess Gear. They are a size small, and I paid $4.99 for them at the regular store. Oh, and they do have pockets, too. So that's nice. I think these will do well. They are like a, like a calf length. They're like a crop length. Really cute. Next, I got this. This is a really nice silk top by Citron. This is another brand that I've had really great luck with in the past. Certain pieces do really well, fly out of my closet, and other pieces I have for forever and have to basically give them away. But this one I thought was really nice because number one, like I said, it's silk. Number two, it's a button-up, and the button-up has this print all over on it, and I'm pretty sure, isn't that Buddha? And I'm so sorry if it's not Buddha and I'm wrong. Please, please correct me if I'm wrong. But I know this is like some sort of religious symbol and I feel like that will help sell this shirt. Aside from the fact that the colors are so pretty and it's like this like almost watercolor print. Yeah, really, really nice. Size medium if I didn't say that already. And we're still at the regular thrift store at this point. Did I say how much I paid for this? Citron shirt. Let me see. Hold on. 
$5.99. I don't know if they said that already. So then we have this sweater. This is apps like look at this pattern. Okay, really pretty floral pattern, right? But it gets better. This is Lambswool and Angora and this little tag says hand screen printed. So this pattern was hand screen printed on this sweater. Are you kidding? Like, look, and look how still vibrant and beautiful it is. Here's the tag up close so we can all see it. I have no idea what size it is. I will just measure it, but I was not gonna leave this. Again, I know we're going into like spring, summer, but I was not going to leave this sweater. I paid $6.99 for it at the regular store. Absolutely beautiful. I got this at the regular store, and I believe this is, the, yes, this is the last thing for this regular retail store trip. It was $4.99 before I forget. Uh, I don't think this has a brand, if I recall. Yes, no brand, no tags, no nothing. But this is a lace, like, little mock neck, turtleneck shirt. It's got three buttons at the back on the neck. It's long sleeve, as you can tell. And I just thought, for style-wise, because it's sheer, because it's lace, you could wear this, like, bridal. You could wear this by itself, under something, over something, with something, layering it, all kinds of ways you could style this. I just thought it was so cute and I think it's gonna do really well. So now we are on to the second binge trip for this haul. The second and final trip for this haul. This is a binge trip. First, I got this. <laughs> How absolutely stinking adorable is this little overall set i think it does have a brand yeah here we go health text the same as that little yellow jumper from the beginning of the video it is a size 12 months it is so adorable i just could not leave that there then i got this and this was in a bin that everyone had dug in and everybody was you know doing something else and i was like okay why don't I just Google image this really quick? Because it looks like it could be something. I see sweaters like this. Here's the brand, Northern Isles. I see sweaters like this often, but I don't really pay that much attention to them. And I was just like, it takes two seconds to Google image it. And do you know what I found when I Google image it? People have these listed on Depop all across the board for like a hundred dollars. It's got a little pig, a little chicken a cow it's like a farm scene there's what a farmer guy or who, whoever that guy is on the back a farmer i would assume really really cute it's got baubles on it like these apples are little baubles it's like 3d i think this is gonna do really well and like i said comps are like a hundred dollars <laughs> we're almost we're almost there guys bear with me so then i got this this is a like, I, I can't describe to you how this feels more like a top and a underwear than it does a bikini, but it's definitely meant to be a bikini. It's lined like a bikini, but this feels like cotton. It's not like your typical bikini material, swimsuit material. Here's the matching bottom. And here's the, oh, it is cotton, duh. <laughs> here's the only tag. It says... Avoid rough surfaces, 100% cotton medium made in USA. There's no brand. But I thought this was very like 90s Ralph Lauren. That's why I picked it up and I think it might do pretty well. I haven't looked into it at all or anything like that, but that's why I picked it up based on style. And I got this. This is such a nice mountain hardware like shirt jacket. It's a quilted goose down snap button front jacket and it's a men's medium There's the back. and i don't think i saw any flaws in this maybe there was a few pinholes but other than that okay yeah there's a few yeah small little like snag like i don't know if you can see right there at my my finger there's a few small flaws like that but other than that this is in really great shape next i got this novara jacket the tag this is i believe cycling jacket 
And this is such a lightweight jacket. I could not leave it there. And I believe it is waterproof because it has this liner to it. And like I said before in some of my videos, you want to check this liner and make sure it's not peeling away because nobody will purchase it if the liner is peeling away. That's like a big deal. There's the logo. Next, I picked this up based on style. This is a Exficio brand shirt and I know this is a really good outdoorsy brand but I picked this up because one it was extra lightweight two it was this brand and three it's like this you can't miss me orange color so I feel like somebody might seek this out just based on this color <coughs> oh how much they wanted $6.99 at the regular store I would not have paid that but I will take it at the bins then I got this this is so fun this is giving me very like 70s vibes like a what is this? I don't know if it's silk because the uh, tag is worn away, but just a little like cute little what purse scarf or neck scarf, whatever you feel like. Really cute. So I picked this up, and this is a New Balance Isaac Mizrahi What's the tag? Uh, little vest. It is a size large. And it just didn't weigh that much, and it's an excellent, excellent shape, and I really like the colors and the pattern. So I feel like somebody will definitely buy this. There's three more. <laughs> the This is a My Weekend Clothes. I've never found this brand before, but I picked it up because of the fabric and what it looks like. It's a size 4. This is a wool mini skirt, and it's got this really nice little like crosshatch pattern. It's got pockets and it has this little single button. I think it's really cute and I feel like it's perfect for like the academia vibe. It is lined, so that's nice too. Okay, next I got this. This is a Tasha Pelosi for, what is that, Saddle, Saddle Blanket Co. jacket. It's a size large. It's got a cheetah print collar, Christmas trees, canoe, we're fishing, we're going camping. We got, what is that, a teepee down there? Uh, what's over here? A cabin, a bear. What's down at the bottom? A heart. And on the back, it says Home Sweet Home. And it's got all these embroideries everywhere. And this is so cool. So unique. And it's like this like deep pile, like fleece type of material it's fully lined which is so nice and comps for these are all over the place however I did not see one that looked anything like this at all so I will be very interested to see how this does really cute okay and then for the finale last but certainly not least kind of a heartbreaker so maybe maybe some of you might know what this is by looking at it i did not admittedly i've never seen one of these in this style before but when i saw the tag i was so excited and then simultaneously heartbroken because as you can see some of the velvet has bled into this lace trim here let me get closer yeah right there and then it's on the sleeve a little bit too and then here on the back this is a gunny sax y'all <laughs> oh it's it's heartbreaking but i'm not leaving it there at the bins not about to happen not in a million years i would rather dye it or sell it as is than leave it at the bins but my plan as of right this moment is to sell it as is which is this really adorable like apron style velvet dress I just can't if anyone has any suggestions for fixing that so you can't like I don't think yeah, you can't take that off like what would you guys do if this was something you found what would you do would you sell it as is would you try to dye the whole dress like a darker color to match this? Would you try to get it out? Can you get it out? Please leave any suggestions in the comments below. Not even looked up comps because if this is like one of the really nice ones, I just, that would break my heart because 
I mean, I guess I still have her, so there's that. <laughs> so that's it for this giant thrift haul, you guys. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I cannot believe that the day you're, that this is going live is my six month YouTube anniversary again. I just want to reiterate, thank you so much to anyone who's ever shown any type of support towards my channel. It means the world to me. It's been so much fun creating content and putting myself out there and I've learned so much from you guys in these last six months. So I'm so grateful to be on this journey and I'm so happy that you guys are here with me. If you watch this video and you wouldn't mind just hitting like on the way out, that would be awesome. See you next time, friends. Bye.